And I'm joining Spring Lobby Weekend as the delegation leader from Haverford College in Pennsylvania. How do y'all from Texas? From Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hello from Indianapolis, Indiana. Hello from Washington, D.C. Hello from Mount Rainier. Hey everyone, my name's Zay Cloud. I'm from Lima, Ohio. Hi, hey, from California. And we're in Phoenix, Arizona. From Wilmington, Ohio. It's Jamila Lewis. I'm here in Las Vegas and I'm excited to spend Spring Lobby Weekend with you. We've seen change. Starting at a local level, 27 states have adopted new police oversight and reform laws, but we still need change at a national level. There are 18,000 different police organizations in the United States, and we can't wait for them to each act individually. We need national standards now. And by the way, it doesn't matter what age you are, all of your voices matter. And I want to thank you for your leadership and for your help. We're not going to stop until President Biden signs the bill. Thank you. We have work to do. And so I want to thank you all for gathering together, for standing and working, not just being bystanders to injustice, but upstanders to making this nation live up to its promise. For me, the pandemic has been a time of reflection. As millions of lives have been lost and many have struggled, I recognize that community is the one thing that helps us overcome the challenges. I thus urge you to immediately co-sponsor the Justice and Policing Act, which will bring us closer to securing justice and safety for our black and brown neighbors and thus strengthen our communities. Thank you. We struck out the first time we tried to get this law passed, and we're going to try it again. Hopefully, we'll be successful this time, but even if we aren't, we're not going to give up. It is incumbent upon each and every one of us uh, to keep working until we succeed. Because hope is an action that we all take together. It is an action that we take together as part of this FCNL community. We filled the virtual halls of Congress with our voices and our stories, lobbying members of both the House and the Senate. We heard yesterday from Karen Bass, the original author of this bill, that this is how bills land on the president's desk. I'm proud of this network and all we have and will continue to accomplish.